Hi, it's Graham here at Crestron, and today I have managed to sneak into my new office that I set up with all the great Crestron gear. So what do we have? First of all, outside the room, we have the new Microsoft Teams scheduling panel, as you see here next to me. It's signed in with my Microsoft Teams room account, so it actually shares the same account that's inside the room with your Crestron Flex Microsoft Teams room. But just remember, it can be used in any space. It doesn't just have to be a Microsoft Teams room. It can be any room, any video system. It will work anywhere as long as it's licensed. What's also included is I have the light bar down the side so I can visually see if the room is free or busy. So it's green, it's showing me that it's free. And in the Microsoft Teams mode, it can either go red or purple to show that it's busy. So what else do we have on here? So we have a, the option to go and, and click on reserve. And once I do that, the panel will now give me a choice of time. How long do I want to reserve this meeting room for? So by default, it's in blocks of 15 minutes. Simply choose a time. And again, you can click the arrows and go even further. So you get a nice choice on how long I want this meeting room for. And I simply hit reserve. Now, the great thing is, once that's reserved, the lights go red. So now, visually, people can see that the room is booked. So what else in this panel? So it's available in a 7-inch or 10-inch panel with a white bezel or black bezel. And there's a great array of mounting options. So you can put it on wood, glass, metal, whatever style office you have. There's a mounting solution there for that. So what else can we see here? Well, the room is booked. So now what we can do is walk into the meeting room. So let's go and do that now. Ta-da! And I'm in the meeting room. So here we have my Microsoft Teams room. So we have a Crash One Flex soundbar solution. So at the front of the room, I have two displays. I have the soundbar. And in that soundbar is the Hudley IQ camera. Now that can do auto framing and it can do people counting. And that's all reported back into the Crestron XIO Cloud, which we'll talk about at a later date. Also in the room, I have a center of room console. So what this allows me to do is control the meeting. Actually, let's zoom in on that so we can see a little bit clearer. So here we've got my touch panel. Uh, this is a 10 inch panel uh, supplied with the soundbar solution and our custom series. And that is a tabletop mount, but you can also have a wall mountable option. And don't forget with Crestron, Teams rooms, we can have up to two panels connected at the same time. So giving you greater flexibility. So on the touch panel, uh, we can see we have a join button. What does this mean? Well, because I have a Microsoft Teams panel outside, it automatically creates a Teams meeting for me. So I don't have to get my cell phone out or my laptop in the corridor to set up the meeting and schedule it. As soon as I hit reserve, it creates that meeting for me so I can walk in and join a meeting. So we'll look at that in a second. But let's see what else we have on the touch panel. So we have a new meeting, so we can easily click on there and start a meeting. I have a dial pad, so I have licensed this room with a calling plan so I can make an outbound call to the PSTN network, to maybe someone's mobile or cell phone. I can also hit present. So if I have a laptop connected, I can then input that and it's shown on both displays. And then also in the bottom right corner, I have this control icon for room control. And this allows me to control the camera in this instance. So if you have a Crestron controller in your meeting space already, doing the lights, the blinds and other inputs, that can be brought across into the Microsoft Teams room. We include the software on the platform out of the box and nothing else to install. Your engineer would just need to bring that across and set it up for you, meaning you just need a single touch panel in that meeting space. So really simple. In this example here, I have control of the camera for pan, tilt and zoom, making it easy to control that camera, turn the auto framing on and off, etc. If I want to, you don't have to have that if you don't want to. So now let's join the meeting. I simply hit the join button. So this will now join the meeting. As you can see, I, I have a nice sunny day here in London. It now gives me the ability to use the center of room console to be able to now add extra people in. So how do I do that? Well, I've got the option for add participants and I click on that button. I'm going to call another room. So I simply put in that uh, contact details and I click invite and that other person just needs to answer the call. 
So once they answer the call, uh, we'll be able to see that uh, their far end video and we can also see the content that I'm sharing. So I've got this great control and access within the center of room console. I can uh, see my content, I can share my content and I can also use the bottom rail here to move things around. So if I want to switch the content and video, I can do that quite easily. I've also got features such as raise hand so I can, uh, you know, alert people that I have a question and I want to ask something. And that's also represented on the console and also on the front of room display. And if there's lots of people in the meeting, you'll get a yellow box around there. So just like your desktop client, you see it in the Microsoft Teams room. I also have the ability for the three dots down the bottom and I can do extra features such as together mode, uh, large gallery. You get all these different choices on how you want to choose your layouts. So these are all included now in Microsoft Teams rooms. So again, if someone was in the room, they'd all be seated in the appropriate seats. I also have things like live captions. So I can turn this on. This will then translate and put the text at the bottom of the screen to show you who's speaking and who said what. A feature on your desktop client makes it really nice to use in Microsoft Teams rooms as well. And not forgetting, I still have access to room control. So being able to control that camera whilst I'm in a meeting, or control the lights or the blinds, whatever else we have within Crash One set up in your meeting space, you're able to do that from the touch panel whilst you're in a call. And again, this will just either time out or you can go back to your meeting controls. So you've got great capabilities here on this touch panel. And then once you're finished with your meeting, uh, you simply hang up. And once that call has terminated, obviously this is a Microsoft Teams feature, you can rate your call. But once you're done with that session, you will then leave the room, unplug your laptop, for example, and that will go back to the normal home screen uh, ready for the next person. Now, when the meeting has uh, scheduled and it's finished, obviously, uh, depending on your time, the panel will go back to its either red state or jump back to obviously being green so the next person can come along and press reserve. Now, what we have coming up soon are some new features within the touch panel uh, for scheduling. So the capability of integration with a uh, crash one sensor, for example, uh, so it can auto check you in and then, then release the room, etc. when you finish there early, maybe. So if I booked this maybe for an hour and I finished after 30 minutes, I want to fill that room up for someone else. So some of these new features will be coming at later uh, dates. So there's a, a quick round roundup of what we have at crash one to make your, you know, return to work experience really, really easy easy to find your rooms. Again, Microsoft are gonna add some things like nearby maps to the uh, Teams room panel as well, so you can find other meeting spaces that you want to book. So it's only gonna get better over time with software. So thanks very much and look forward to seeing you soon.